Hello everyone, my name is Lancel90 and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So I went ahead and uh, slept between the episodes. Uh, we didn't get well rested today. We are at full health. I think you have to be at full health and then rest to get well rested. Somehow the light, the light keeps waking us up. I'm not exactly sure how that happens because the windows are shut. But it's uh, been a day since I've played as well, so I'm just kind of... Checking things. Smoke weed every day, house. Alcohol. We should probably go get that alcohol, actually. We'll do that now. Because uh, I need it to make Molotovs and stuff. Molotovs, head, head kits, things of that nature. So, now that we have armor, the question becomes what do we focus on next? As far as, uh, crafting goes, I think I don't really have any more I can build here, as far as armor is concerned. I'll always be grabbing more leather, though, whenever I have a chance, because leather is amazing. We also want to keep a, uh... Keep an eye out for, uh, Kevlar plates and stuff. That would dramatically help us out as well. So you can one more look over these just to make sure. Okay. Got first aid kits, which we definitely need to make. We have saline solutions and duct tape and everything, so be doing that soon. Should probably make a distaff and spindle just because it's easy to make and uh, we need it for stuffing things. It's just another little crafting tool which will increase our options of things we can craft. <laughs> I have a marker. I can make a cured pelt, actually. I'd probably do that because it looked like it would rot if I didn't. Oh, this is going to take forever to craft. Can I do it again? Rolled up animal hide, which has been strapped of extraneous hair and flesh and treated to prevent decay. It still requires tanning to become usable for... We have to tan it. I'm not exactly sure how we do that, but at least it's not. I can cure it now. I don't know if that's tanning it, though. I suppose I might as well. Cured hide. Well, hide was with family. First, I'm not. Oh, now it's turning into leather. I think. Oh, well, doesn't matter too much. Lots of things. So, like, the next uh, long term goal, I think, are setting up metal crafting. Which takes so much work to get done. And, of course, uh, getting a vehicle going. Did I make any better bow yet? Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, that's ammo. Want a better bow? Hungry, or thirsty, but we're gonna be hungry soon, too. Uh, guess I ate all that stuff, yeah. But the meat's gonna go bad first, so. Uh, the juice pulp might as well, but.
Yep, it's fine. Drop the gun jug again. Grab a couple of cooked meats to bring with us. As far as drink goes, we'll keep working down like our sodas and things. Oh, we have crowbar, we're wielding, it's fine. Bring safety glasses, which means I have to make sure I find the uh, sunglasses. I don't, I don't have to, but I'm just going to not worry about those sunglasses. It's a little bit too much work. All right. We're ready to go. We're going to go get the alcohol. This is a parking lot. We need a garage so I can find things to pair vehicles with. I don't have much, so I'm probably just going to have to go steal a car from these guys. It kind of sucks we don't have a garage. Our hardware stores, but I think we've already looted them for the most part. We're probably going to have to start exploring further out. And so far... This way to avoid those, uh, wasps. Anemic mold up here. I don't know if I should even bother fighting it. Leaving me alone. They reproduce and stuff, but as long as you stay away from it. Oh yeah, I have to go through the front door. As long as you stay away from it, you're out of range. So, uh, won't be able to spawn anything. There's not really anything useful here. I think I've already looted it for the most part. Crap. I don't think I can bring the cart in. And it sucks. I could smash stuff. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much, I still have to leave it upstairs, but... Let's go... Right here. Or snake down here. Maybe it'll mostly leave me alone. Stuck on the table, sewer snake. Sewer snakes can poison you, that's why. I'd be careful that I kill him properly. And we're at our max capacity, so I don't think I could carry any more. That's like the only crappy thing about wearing this messenger bag instead of our actual backpack. But unless I find a mole pack, I think it's worth having the weight of the backpack on us. Encumbrance. Now that we have a default encumbrance no matter what with our leather armor. Even reading through these things, really. In water. Some of it actually is non alcoholic. Oh, there's three refrigerators at the end instead of uh, racks. Flashlight off. Uh, how much? Oops. How much capacity still? About a hundred capacity. I think there's anything else in town really worth the capacity. There's another pharmacy. <laughs> Pardon.
parking lot does have a chance to spawn cars, so maybe I should go check out the parking lot. These stations and things. So we might be able to start going to those soon, because I'm starting to clear the town out of all the zombies. So it'll start, it won't, it'll start not to matter if I turn on alarms. In fact, we might go to this museum. See if it has a nice fancy sword or something, though we won't need to make an anvil and everything. Need to start practicing our uh, cutting weapon skill for one thing. Shrieker zombie to the southeast, I guess. That's pretty much to the directly east. I don't like this. Some things I like about this white toolbar, and other things I don't, or this white sidebar. I like I like the layout of it, but like when you see zombies and stuff, they don't appear in the direction they're at. They just appear under this. Doesn't make sense. It's gonna shriek at me. I guess I should not risk getting hit quite as badly. We're just starting noticing in combat now that we're wearing actual armor instead of just clothes. I think I've checked all these houses yet either. I have. I probably wasn't in there because I didn't grab the leather gloves and I think I would have otherwise. I guess lean on the ground. I wonder if I can just scoop that up with the jug. We're unhappy. It's fine though, it's just a mood swing mostly. I don't know what focus does. Focus is what gets lowered when your morale is low. Oh, this is a boxing gym. Oops, I went through the wrong building. It's your front door museum. Oh, it's up here, I guess. Oh, that's, um... Fuck. Well, let's save it. I think it'll matter, because I think if we get instantly killed, it won't matter. There's a minefield right in front of the gym. Or the building. Well, that spitter zombie is definitely going to make it look something up. Really? You don't get blown up, zombie? Okay. My crowbar is smashed. I didn't get damaged so quickly. The other crowbar didn't get damaged at all. Nine damage. Yikes. We're using the hunting knife. It's cutting damage, which is very scary because he gets stuck on things. I wonder if I could just throw things onto squares and see if that blows up. Uh, throw two by fours, I guess. Actually, you know what? I think that's like even more dangerous, really. But I think our uh, perception is high enough that we should get warned right before we step on one. Yeah, we're good. That's uh, scary. <laughs> Wanted to see what's in the display case. War side battle axe. Now I don't know. Wooden needle. I don't necessarily know how uh, good some of these items are. Parting pet. Sorry. Oops, I didn't mean to smash it. I wanted to look. Small relics. All pikes. This is a medieval weapon consisting of a 
wood shaft tipped with an arrow iron pike. As large and heavy compared to other spears as accuracy and damage run very low. Lots of piercing. I don't think it matters if I smash crap, because uh I just don't think they're gonna be able to get in here. That minefield out in the front. So we hander. It's, it's a dull dull cheaply made replica though, it's not an actual thing. A ceramic plate, yes please. Oh wait, it's a dinner plate. I'm still gonna grab it. Well, it's not the kind of plate it's supposed to be. A little cheaply made replica of an early modern sword, so you can get this in the 16th century. Cheap replica though, so it's not that great. It's mostly bashing damage, even. So. Achievement skull. Four side. Iron tool has been modified into a weapon. I reinforce and rotate its blade 90 degrees. Transform you into a deadly giant blade on the end of a stick. Now, this one isn't, uh. and fake. But, I think it's. My time. Oh, cool. That's oh, Captain Boggan. Yeah, uh, I don't think we want to mess with that. Take a minute to reload every time. Arrowheads. I could probably use these though. Alright, built up to Staff and Sindel right before we left. I think a bone needle is any better than the wooden needle, so. Surprised there's no plate freaking armor. It can be refitted. Ooh. Although it's 1313 production, it's not really that much. You know, iron and leather. How much is our weather? Although the armor is better. <laughs> That's silly. Buto. Oh, medieval Japanese helmet made with scowling face mask that provides excellent protection to the entire den face. Hmm. Possibly. It's a... Where's our leather helmet at? There it is. B. A little less protection. A little bit more environmental protection. I don't see it encumber the mouth. I don't want that. I protect the mouth, too. Mouth encumbrance is like really, really bad. If I am not mistaken, it makes your uh, running cost a lot more. Alarm sounds, yeah. Well, good luck getting the zombies to come and fight me. They're not going to get to me. Nothing in there, just televisions. Oops. Katana. The old cheaply made replica of rare sword. None of them are real. Maybe you can, like, uh, sharpen them or something? I don't think so. I think I have to make my own. Oh, 
Sacred Sword is 6, 14. Oh no, that's really low to hit bonus. Here are the two hit bonuses, like so freaking low. The Glaive is pretty good. So. I really don't know what the weapons. Like, I've been noticing. I've been noticing this for a long time. Like, it's the basic stuff that you can just start with better than some of these late, late tier weapons. Oops, I uh, just lit the museum on fire. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to do that. That got a spiral out of control very quickly. Anyway. Police stations, parking. I guess we'll go check out the parking lot. Don't have anything else to do. Oh, and I bought. Those I bots really spiral out of control. So you uh, start attacking them. So we're just gonna avoid them. Uh, what the hell? Tree. It's supposed to just be like an avenue with like trees in the middle? Like a sacrificial circle to me, it's kind of scary. Ambulance. Looking at these different vehicles and things. Uh, small trees serve as bushes. We can smash crowbar. Sucks. Okay, Zombro. Ouch. My torso, but my armor protected me. That should pop up. Quite often. It's a manhole. Go down into the sewer if I want. That seems like a bad idea, though. start to break into these police stations, to be honest. I think I'm going to kill all the zombies outside. Just to be sure. I just want to see what's in this parking lot. Nothing, just a shopping cart. Probably not even a very good one. Yeah, that one's effed. Not like ours, which is in perfect condition. What's this boomer in? It's way over there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna bash this thing down because there's no zombies to be seen anyway. Deputy badge. Gives an air authority to wear. I have a slot. I'm gonna put it on for fun, I guess. I'm a deputy badge. Close the metal door. Nothing to pry there, I can't open it. Damn, I gotta get my electronic skill up to go here, aren't I? Oh god, there can be prisoner zombies in here, isn't there? Serial in them, son. Lots of deputy badges.
Damn, I can't get much out of these, I don't think, yet. Get my electronic skill up. Isn't up UT badge like really the only thing that spawns in these places? It's like something else should spawn other than deputy badge. Crap. Sucks. Well, there's not much left to do here. Grocery stores, but... My food situation is pretty good. It's always pretty good. Um... I guess we'll just explore for a bit, then. Smash the crowbar. Go down to the basement down here. It's like a pretty bad idea, though, so I'm gonna save it. There's a sheer drop halfway down. Oh, uh, no. I don't know how I'd get back up at that point. I think we're just gonna find him on terrain instead of trying to get him stuck on something. Military vehicle. Armored personnel carrier. Just put stuff in seats. It says they have volume. Imagine you could. Mounted burning. Five point harness, seat controls. Doesn't have enough wheels. And it needs a lot of wheels. I don't think we'll be fixing that anytime soon. Hmm. Guess I can check this house just for fun. Scarf. Dehydrated fruit is nice. Children's book, Pilsner. I wonder if I could break apart that uh, vehicle for its uh, Evlar plates or something. If that was the case. This house is very different from the other houses I've been in. Well, I don't know sure, it's yeah. This house is very different. It's very unusual. It must be new. Yep. Very big bathtub, apparently. Interesting here, huh? This vehicle, though. Very composite armor. If I could take armor off. Oh no. Now, we're out of time for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.